how amazing, amazing God and the universe is. I want you all to just take a moment, a moment in your life right now and just realize how grateful you truly are and how the universe provides and provides and provides and you you have no worries or, or nothing to stress about and yeah. we would like to have a test a testimony of ourselves you know uh of how good god has been to us um first of all does come through and he does provide so yes yes god really does and we we take time throughout the day to give gratitude to continue to yeah. give gratitude i think sometimes people are too focused on what they don't have or what they want they forget that they are how blessed they are in so many ways but continue with the testimony though okay so my testimony is that i have not no let's just let me reword this my electricity and my gas has been paid for over two years and that is is due to god to yeah. the universe to divine source i mean I, I really have nothing to stress or worry about um god always literally provides and makes a way and i'm so grateful and so um of course our bills are paid we 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 you know we everything we need we have Everything we need, we have. And we continue to give gratitude every single day. Every day we take time to give gratitude. Yeah. Like, And I think I want to kind of like instill that because we really truly do. Whether we're by ourselves and we're giving gratitude or we are together, we stop and we take, we take a moment to raise our hands up and just give gratitude because we know how good we have it. Yes. Yes. And yes, God has changed our 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 outlook to life he has renewed our minds and our thoughts and our emotions and so and we give gratitude for that because you know there was a time in our lives where we you know we was focusing all on the you know the things that was going wrong but you know since he's refocused our our, our thoughts and everything onto all the great things he has for us i mean it's only getting better and better. Honestly, all this, this whole thing has really taught me to trust God yes. fully. Not a little bit, not still have doubt, none of that. This just really trust God. There's been points where we're like, how, the, how are we going to do it? You know? But another another testimony is the tires. Yeah. We didn't, I didn't upload that video, but. Oh, you didn't? No, I sure did not. But. Our tires, guys, our tires, when we went to the tire shop, we kind of knew we needed to do something with the tires because it was wobbly. Yes, the, the wheels wheel was, was shaking. In order to go straight, the wheel the wheel was like this, like, to, in order to, like... We knew something was wrong. Wrong. When she told us that fucking wire was exposed and all this sort of shit, it was like, whoa. And we were driving on that, <laughs> you know? Um, we didn't know how we were going to... We did I, I had been out of work for a little bit, so I didn't... We didn't know how we were going to even begin to get the tires that we needed all four of the tires needed, needed working on right away right away like it, it, she said either that or you park the truck and you leave the truck park type shit we had to get the tires done i i had enough for two of the tires um well all four of them needed to get done and yes. so with the help of god you know ma applied for the credit card and she was able to get the other two tires so we got all the tires fixed it was like eight hundred dollars, and that was like God. That. that was yeah. God's hand in it because, first of all, I didn't know if it was even going to go through. Um, that is good. If my credit was even going to go through, I didn't know. You yeah. know, I'm just going to be real with you. Did not did not know if my credit was going to go through in order to even get that that line of credit mm -hmm. to get the tires. Yeah, but and God, it was just the right amount that we needed. Yes, because I I was able to get two. It was for four hundred for two. I was able to get two of them. We needed all four, so my they but like she was yes. she got approved for the other two, so it was really God. That is, was like it was perfect, perfect, yes. perfect, perfect. How? So basically, and we didn't stress or worry, not one bit during that process. No, we actually didn't. Um, during that process, we didn't stress. Woo, 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 woo. Butterfingers, mama. Come here, mama. 
cut her inside but okay so um th- during oh. that process we didn't oh. we didn't Mom. stress or worry about um how it was going to get done or anything like yeah. that so we just knew that god you know we we had this calmness within us we just knew god was going to f- make a way and find you know find a way for us yeah. and so and so we didn't stress about it and i think that's key too is not stressing and just trusting faith, uh, yes huh? unwavering faith. faith oh my gosh trusting yes. that god will oh provide god will provide and there's something that c- continues to come on my feed it says like something like um um not once does god tell you to worry or stress but many times he tells you to trust so just continue to trust that god is going to to uh make a way for you yeah and they said in the bible it says do not be afraid 365 times so every day uh do not be afraid is like an everyday type do not be afraid do not be afraid and i also got the quote there i forgot how the quote went exactly but it was like um worrying is like worshiping or having faith in the problem or the like oh. worrying worrying is like having faith in the problem i don't know if i'm making sense but like basically wh- why worry because that means you have faith in does that make sense or no because i don't know how to say it yeah hold on <laughs> So, uh, just just for a moment, while we're talking about that, yeah. um, when we was driving, uh, rain to 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 work. Uh-huh. What did we say? We said, um, we said, uh, it was on the tip of my in this tr- this uh, what did we motorcycle say? Uh, cleared my mind uh, from that. Um, we were talking about. I'm trying to think over time. Okay, let me let me stop and let me recollect my my thoughts. But continue about the. Well, um, I think it's rude. <laughs> I think it's rude. I'm just like, <laughs> I think you're good. I love you. No, but basically that's what I was just saying. Like, and it really changed my perspective because I it's like if I if I am gonna have faith in anything. I'm gonna have faith in the good, in the good possibility. Why, why choose to put my energy and my faith in the wrong? Like, no. If I'm gonna have faith in, in, in if anything, I'm gonna choose. Let me believe in the good then. Oh, um, why, dear God, why are we so successful? Oh, um. It was like suffering from success. Yeah, it yes. was. Why yeah. are we suffering from success? Why are we suffering yeah. with success, dear God? Why? So just like changing the way you 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 see things and and changing the way you know uh, you're you're telling your story in your mind. You know what I mean? Like yes. recreating yes. Yes. Uh, your story to 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 benefit you. Because you deserve, you deserve, you are worthy of all great things to happen for you. And so, so just tell yourself all these great things. So we were talking about affirmations just a few minutes ago and we were talking about, um, yeah, it's like, we we're just like, why, why, why are we multimillionaires? Why are we, you know, so successful? Like, just like, just. Create your affirmations yeah. to benefit you. And uh, we were sitting here thinking about some other affirmations to include in our yeah. our daily ritual, our daily routine. And so... I think what even got us started on how, you know, her not having to pay her electricity and her gas bill for two years was... I think I had said something like... Uh, uh, I think I had said something like, all my bills are paid, or it was something, or, mm-hmm. or, oh, I get to stay at home, or something like that, I get to stay at home and get paid, or something like that. Yes, yes. And we had just mentioned, like, how she hadn't paid her gas bill, too, but it's, it's already been, it's been provided, like, yes, it's been taken care of. It's been taken care of, yeah. Yeah, God, God, just, like, don't worry about it, it's, I'm, I'm, I got you, and, yeah. and I, with 100% trust and faith, unwavering 
I just know that he he will yeah. always provide, and he's gonna take care of his baby. You know what I mean? I'm his yeah. baby. I, I'm, God's gonna take care of me and us. Yes. You know, and and I'm glad. I'm grateful to have this mindset. I'm grateful to have this this brain and this body and this um, this ability to um, create success for ourselves and it all starts with the mind um what you're telling yourself you know yeah what you're embodying what 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 is that inner speech i always say this in my videos what's that inner speech you're having with yourself today you know uh is it um if uh, the dominating thoughts what kind of dominating thoughts are you having today are they good yeah. or are they bad and if they're bad then start um when you have a negative thought or a bad thought, nip it in the butt right away. As soon as you have that thought, stop and say, you know what, now name three good things about your life that's going on with yourself. You know what I mean? Like just things that you're grateful for. Name three. And then every time you have a negative thought, switch it right away. Stop it. Don't even finish completing your sentence or whatever it may be. Just stop it and write in its tracks and 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 create the 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 gratitude affirmations. Create the good affirmations. Create, you know, tell yourself that new story that you are deserving of. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um we are deserving and we are worthy. And the more you tell yourself that and the more you believe that, you'll start to see change occur in your life. And so we just wanted to kind of like share our little testimony because there's so, there's so many things, whether we say it or not, like to you, there's so many great things that the universe is doing in our lives. I mean, we can list them all, but... Just trust, just trusting and believing what we're saying. You know what I mean? Like, all it takes is for you to just, to just stop complaining and start giving gratitude. That's that's, you know, it's how simple can it be? You know what I mean? God could give you the answer, right? And it's up to you if you're gonna take that answer and do something with it, or if you're going to just let it pass you by. You know what I mean? But literally, stop complaining. And start giving gratitude. And then you'll start to see the changes in your life. Yes. You know, benefit you. It'll start benefiting you. And so, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's all up to you. We know we've done it. We've we've made the steps. We've taken the action. We've planted the seeds. And now, we are reaping the benefits of it. And we are sharing it with you all because... It feels amazing. It feels great. And, you know, there's there's good news. And we're sharing this good news with you all. Stop complaining and start giving gratitude. And watch your life change right before your eyes. And that's how simple it is. Start noticing all the great things that's happening for you right now in the here and now. Because there is great things happening for you in the here and now. Pay attention. Be aware of them. You're breathing. You're alive. You woke up. Those are just some few things to be grateful for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you you got another chance. At each day that that God gives you here is a another opportunity, another chance to to correct and make things right for yourself. So you you don't have yesterday is yesterday. You know what I mean? So don't bring yesterday into today. Today's a whole new day. Yes. Start bringing, start saying things that you're grateful for for today, and then just watch, just watch it, just watch all the magic happen. We do live in a magical universe. Yeah. I do truly do believe that. I, I believe that we live in a, a magical universe. I believe that we live in a universe of um, infinite possibilities. Um, I believe that. Um, we are deserving and, and, and worthy of all great things. And so, therefore, um, I refuse anything less than mm -hmm. that. 
And so those are some of the things that I tell myself, yeah. my inner self. And that's those kind of conversations I have within myself and with my children and my family. And so create the day that you desire. Yeah. You want to end this off with anything else? Hi. We are co-creators of, re- of our reality, you guys. We're not victims. We're co-creators. And just, just trusting God. Just really full faith, full trust. And if something does happen that isn't to your liking today, still give gratitude. But also, I like to... Because it could be worse. Yes, it could be worse. But also, that... You said create the new story, right? Yes, create the new create story. Create the new story. I believe in that so much. Everything works in my favor. It's either a lesson or either... Someone said it's either a lesson or... So anyway, you win either way because it's either a lesson or something. I forgot what it was. But anyway. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about. But, uh, the reason why I say that is because I, I recently got broken up with, right? I thought he was the most perfect guy. Everything, everything. So I'm oh, you know whatever i'm sad and shit but i find i i ask god why is your phone hot no i'm just checking i i tell god like why i don't understand i don't i don't get it you know he was perfect in every fucking way he was perfect why like why did you know i just kept saying why and why and why well god slowly but surely started to reveal who he actually was and basically just trust trust like i didn't understand it was a bigger thing god heard i always say this to mom and rain god heard something you didn't hear he saw something you didn't see he 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 knew something you didn't know and it turns out he was he's one of the most fucking manipulative like just just piece of shit type and i'm like okay god trust god said just trust me i wouldn't do this to you just to do it to you trust that he just he's just not the guy you think he is he's not and I'm glad that, you know, I kept praying, why did this happen? Why? Why? And God revealed to me, like, hey, I trust me. Trust me. I'm not doing this just to... Your phone turned darker, didn't it? Me, probably. Uh, okay. So, if you don't mind me saying something, I yeah. believe that, first of all, um, we should put God first. Put ourselves first. Yeah. God first. Yeah. My father and I are one. Put God first. Uh-huh. God's going to lead you. God's going to get you through it. Put God first. Secondly, don't put anyone on a pedestal. I believe that she was putting him on a pedestal. She kept saying how how perfect he was. <laughs> and, and okay, first of all, we are perfectly made, but none of us are perfect we all have our flaws we all we have our good we have our bad we we all have our you know different part different parts and aspects of ourselves so he wasn't as perfect as she envisioned yes and so she was to me in my mind she was putting him on a pedestal she was putting him above herself and everyone else and i I, I tend to do that for some reason i believe that god was just trying to get her to focus back on god um, because God is the one that's going to guide us to where we need to be. Um, at the end of the day, God is always there with us, always there for us. And so, you know, people will let you down. People, people tend to let you down. And, um, you know, it's just in our nature, right? And so, but God is always continuously being there with us and, and getting us through things. And so, putting God in, in, in your relationship. Like, Hey God, I want a great relationship with you, dear God. And I know that by me having a great relationship with you, I know that I'm going to have a great relationship with all those I come across and just continue to just include God in your day to day life. Um, don't forget about God. Cause when you start steering away is when you start seeing things happen. And that's something I was also going to mention about that too. But I think, uh, well, let's just say when you start seeing little accidents happening little 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 mishaps it's or whatever not, on me, yes on me, god's on saying me. wait a minute you need to slow down yeah. you need to pay attention and then you need to listen to what i'm telling you because you're you're gonna get caught up yeah. into some mess or, or into something yeah, seriously because yeah i had the the truck window had gotten busted 
then that I think that day or the next day I ended up getting pulled over my first time getting pulled over um shit was happening it was just like back to back I said god give me a break but that was god trying to tell me it's like hey like like, I'm trying to get your attention. Yeah. God's trying to get your attention. When things are starting to happen, yeah. God's saying, hey, I need you to to go back within. Go within. Listen to what I'm telling you because I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to guide you to the right path. But if you keep on, you know what I mean? Then you're going to continue to see things happen. So include God in your day-to-day life it's the best thing you could do for yourself you know it it works for us and what works for us we're sharing with you all so we love you have an amazing and wonderful day because you truly deserve to have a good day love you bye